Okay, so we're here at Google, and I'm gonna do a little uh, video here for the people who may be considering uh, going to any particular church, uh, specifically WMSCOG, but also these other churches I'm gonna show you. So you need to have informed consent before you make a decision. If you ever have surgery, the surgeon uh, has to have somebody to give you a like a contract that you fill out and you sign it saying that you agree that they're going to have to put you under anesthesia, etc., etc., and that the surgery carries whatever risk that it carries. Well, whenever you make a decision that's going to affect your life in a major way, you need to have what's called informed consent. So for people uh, who are about to join or may be currently in the World Mission Society Church of God or WMSCOG or the Unification Church or the Mormons or any of these people I'm about to show you, you just take a look. So we here at Google. All I'm going to type is Heavenly Parents Day. All right. Heavenly Parents Day. Okay. Let's show you where we at. So we at Google.com. Now, the first result. Happy True Heavenly Parents Day. FFWPUUSA. This is FamilyFed.org. So let me go. Actually, I think I got that one open already. So what I do, let me X that out. I'm going to exit out and I'm going to just go to it while you can look at it. Now, I'm going to familyfed.org from Heavenly Parents Day. And you see, this is from February 23rd, 2015. It says, Happy True Heavenly Parents Day. You see this man and woman up here? Now, this is not WMSCOG. This is another church. But it's some more Koreans. You see the point. And it says, let us become true owners of Cheon Il Guk, I guess how you say that, who practice true love in resemblance to our creator, the heavenly parent. All right. See this woman? Now, this is not the God, the Mother, or Heavenly Mother that they talk about at WMSCOG, but you see she's still Korean. So you need to have informed consent. You need to know that in Korea, there's multiple people claiming to be God the Father and God the Mother. I don't know how many more there may be. It's serious, right? So let me ask you, these people believe they have Heavenly Father and Mother at their church and where Mr. Society Church of God believe they have Heavenly Father and Mother. Isn't it coincidental that both of these are straight out of Korea? So let me exit out of here. Let me go here. Another link. This one is from January 30th, 2017. Unification is celebrate Heavenly Parents Day. Let's see. I'm not going to read all this. You see a few images here. The 50th Heavenly Parents Day celebrations were a time of great joy, inspiration, and hope for members of the Chicago Family Church community. Hmm. They got a Chicago church too. See that? Just because somebody say only we teach about God the Mother or Heavenly Mother does not mean it's true, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, there's another church besides World Mission Society Church of God that's been doing it for a long time. Because this is from like 2017 and that was their 50th year already doing Heavenly Parents Day. So did you know this before you joined World Mission Society Church of God? And if you didn't, why did they tell you not to search on the internet? I'm showing you why right here. See, there's a such thing called mind control. Some people call it brainwashing. But I think a more proper term is mind control. And that is when you don't want a person to be able to think freely and study freely 
and have all the information so that they can look at something with an open mind and make a decision. Now, if you look at all this stuff that you see here and the other things we're going to look at and you do your own research and you still want to join one of these churches, hey, more power to you. That's your choice. I'm just here to show you the facts so that you can know what to look at so that you won't be bamboozled brainwashed or mind control and regretting something five ten years from now let me exit out of here oh uh, let's see mother in heaven now this is lds.org says the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints teaches that all human beings male and female are beloved spirit children of heavenly parents do you see that so now we got another church that teaches about God the Father and God the Mother. It says, Heavenly Parents, a Heavenly Father and a Heavenly Mother. The doctrine of a Heavenly Mother is a cherished and distinctive belief among Latter-day Saints. Again, this is not the Unification Church, nor is it World Mission Society Church of God. However, it's a distinctive belief. It's a distinctive belief. Distinctive means something that's set it apart, right? Just like World Mission Society Church of God told you they're the only ones that teach about Heavenly Mother. They're the only ones that teach about Passover. Well, that ain't what we're seeing right here. The Church of Latter-day Saints been in operation for a long time. Now, you just saw the other Korean church been doing it for 50 plus years already. Let's see what they say on the Latter-day Saints website. I'm showing you the link up here, the URL, so you can see I'm at their site. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints teaches that all human beings, male and female, are beloved spirit children of heavenly parents, a heavenly father and a heavenly mother. Do you see this? See? Let me highlight the whole word. I'm sorry. Heavenly mother. So, if you want to believe in a heavenly mother, you could be a Mormon with the Latter-day Saints Church, or you could go to Unification Church, another church in Korea, or you could go to, yeah, you could be a Mooney, or you could go to World Mission Society Church of God. And there's another church that teaches it too. So I'm just showing you this so you can have informed consent. If you belong to the WMSCOG, you are not the only ones that teach about Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother. No, you're not. So stop telling that lie. Or if you've been lied to, stop believing that lie. And like I say, if you still want to join there or stay there after this, that's your freedom of choice. But now it really will be a free choice because you have informed consent. Don't let anybody tell you we the only ones that teach this and that. This world is pretty big. It's got a lot of people in it. Chances are whatever you're teaching, there's somebody else who knows it before you. So let me, let me see something. Okay, let me bag out of this page. Now, it says, people also ask. These questions are embedded in Google, so let's just see. What religion believes in a heavenly mother? You would think the church of God come up first, right? No. It says here, see, when these questions are embedded into Google, that means it's been on the internet for a long time. That's what that means. The heavenly mother doctrine is taught by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, LDS Church. And, look, it's got a comma there. The Restoration Church of Jesus Christ and branches of Mormon fundamentalism, such as the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So they name like three churches here that believe in a heavenly mother that's related to or under Mormonism. See? Now, when I click on who is God the mother then it brings up World Mission Society Church of God the church also believes that co-founder Zongil Ja is herself God the mother the World Mission Society Church of God believes that all of its teachings are based on the Bible as explained in the numerous books written by Unsung Hong so that's what World Mission Society Church of God believes but it's right up under these people who are believing in a God the mother before this church existed or at least as long as it has existed same age or older so your teaching is not unique 
So stop believing that lie or stop telling that lie when you go door to door. You know? Now I'm going to show you some pictures, images. All right. Images for Heavenly Parents Day. As you can see, that's all I type. I didn't type anything good or bad. This is just neutral, just Heavenly Parents Day. For those of you who want to say you're being slandered. If I'm slandering you by typing Heavenly Parents Day and reading what comes up, that means something is wrong with what you believe. You understand? If it's slander to read the truth about something, that means that's the wrong thing. Something wrong with you is just to talk about what you actually are is a slander. If you are a murderer and I read about a murder you committed, that's not slander. That's reading the truth about what you are. So, the 47th True Heavenly Parent Day ceremony. This is from the 23rd of January of 2014. See these two people here? A Korean woman and a Korean man. See all these people in this congregation? They believe that these people are their heavenly parents. The heavenly parents of humanity. Do you hear me? Now let me open up this website. Let's see where it takes us. We back on familyfed.org. So again, some of you may say, well, this is not the WMSCOG site. I know it's not. That's why I'm showing you. They saying that this man is God the father and this woman is God the mother. Here's the proof. Reverend and Mrs. Sun Myung Moon, the true parents of humankind, offer the midnight prayer for God's day. Cheon Jong Gong, I might be butchering that word. South Korea, 2012. Do you see that? We are one week away from celebrating the 47th True Heavenly Parent Day and just several weeks away from celebrating the first anniversary of, of Foundation Day. Again, this is from like 2012, so, or 2014, whatever. So I don't know. Maybe they wrote this part in 2012 and wrote the article in 2014. So now they at least at like the 51st quote unquote true heavenly parent day celebration. But you notice everybody's got the true heavenly parent. The church of Latter day Saints say they got the true heavenly mother. This church here, right, that we looking at, say they got the true heavenly parents. WMSCOG say they got the true heavenly parents. I'm sure that Restoration Church of God or whoever they are say they got the uh, true heavenly parents. Everybody got the true heavenly parent, but I'm looking at three or four versions right here. So somebody lying. Somebody is lying. And all of them, I'm not even going to go there because you accuse me of slander. So I'm going to be nice today because I know the feast is coming up and stuff now. Feast of uh, Trumpets is tomorrow. Cause this is September 9th going into September 10th. Some people started in the evening before, but we can just say it's tomorrow for sure. So uh, everybody can't have a different version of a heavenly father and a mother and everybody be telling the truth. That's what I'm trying to show you. So you need informed consent. Now let me show you some other pictures probably just some members of the church they got on Korean clothes no problem although these clothes look very similar to what uh, Zong Gil Ja the heavenly mother of WMSCOG wears but now let me show you this other woman see you probably don't want to believe in her as a mother but you see how she dressed she wearing the same stuff as the woman that you say is mother look right here their father and mother of humanity right here are you kidding me wow just look so I'm showing you this because you members of Church of God who say people that slander you, you would have no problem saying that these people right here are crazy. But yet what they're doing and believing in looks eerily similar, looks very similar to what you do. So how can you judge somebody that's doing something that looks very similar to what you do? You can't. Just like you say these people are crazy. People can say you crazy because you look just like them. So, anyway. 
How do you know who's right and wrong? All of these people in Korea. See? Let me go to this picture here. See, look at that. Look how familiar that looks. They have their heavenly mother. I don't know her name. But uh, this is 2018 Heavenly Parents Day for the, for the Unification Church, I guess, the Moonies or whatever. She's sitting right in the middle. Just like uh, the Heavenly Mother of Zong Gil Jah be sitting in the middle in your picture at World Mission Society Church of God. Now you tell me what's the difference. See? That's all I'm saying. So, in conclusion, because these pictures go on and on. In conclusion, I'm telling you that there are multiple heavenly parents and multiple versions of a heavenly father and mother in Korea and throughout the world and they are not new so when you go door to door teaching about heavenly mother you are not the only church that teaches that right it is not unique and if this is new to you I don't want you to panic nor do I want you to feel that I'm coming at you I mean everybody has a right to you know, if you want to go to church, somebody come to you with something new that sounds interesting, you will go. I'm not knocking you for that. But I just want you to have informed consent. So if you look at all of this stuff and you still believe that the church that you're in is correct, hey, that's between you and the Most High. That's between you and God. I'm just here to make sure that you're not under brainwashing and mind control. Because, see, if you get tricked into something, then you'd be mad five or ten years later when you find out, hey, I wouldn't have believed that had I known all this. But now that you have a way to find the truth for yourself, now you can make an informed decision. Now, if you choose one of these churches now, don't blame me or them if later on you find out you've been taken. Because now you know you got to do your own research. So it's your choice. What is this? I'm just curious. Well, see, this is myself. Oh. Uh, what is this? Foundation day. Day when the substantial heavenly family starts. <laughs> what is this crap? Wow. Cheonji year three. The day the heavenly family starts. Substantial heavenly family. What's that? Day heavenly couple is manifested. Day heavenly parents. T, P of H and E and H are manifested. Re-blessing. Day when heavenly families direct children are born. Re-blessing. Day when blessed children are born as direct children. What? Five. Blessed families receive the heavenly seal. Oh, wow. They got a seal. Now they got a seal of God in this church too. Mm. And that's from 2012. Quite a year. Quite a year. All right, so that's it. Anyway, if you want to know how to find this stuff, let me scroll back to the top. All you do is go to Google and type Heavenly Parents Day. If you want to get this search, you do it on the regular search where it's under all. And if you want to get to those images, you can click down here where it's going to show images. And just click that and it'll show you all these different images. And see, I'll show you this last one here. You see it says True Heavenly Parents Day. That was from 2015. That's from familyfed.org. Right? But then the next image. Here. God the Father, God the Mother, Passover Blood, Heavenly Children. That's from World Mission Society Church of God. So y'all results coming up in the same search just by typing Heavenly Parents Day. So that's proof that your teaching is very similar. All right. So have a good day or night or whatever it is where you at.